I welcome back to another Archicad speed modeling quick coffee tip. In this tip, I like to show you how to do um, a barge board, just you know, on an angle here, not just straight. And then we go and have a look how we, you know, fix the endings of it. All right, so that's pretty straightforward. And by the way, if you want to know how to create those 3D tiles, just stay with me after this video, the next video, I will show you how to do this. All right, um, let's get started then. All right, let's get into the 3D view first to see what we got again here. All right, cool. So see, that's where I wanted to add the barge board going up and going down here. Before I do this, I close this off quickly. I wanted to show you, that's actually quite a nice little add-on tip extra for you guys. You got a wall here. I'm just closing this off with the wall. And let's see what happens here. So you draw the wall and you can see the wall is way too big, obviously. And you click again, and click again, and watch this without even me telling Archicad it's coming up as like an AI, artificial intelligence tells me, hey, you know what? Your wall is too large. You're under a roof. You want to crop it. How cool is that? So I said, oh yes, please. There you go. Not bad, huh? Good start so far today. So, okay, let's get back to the barge board. I got a section here and obviously I'll show you quickly. It's just cutting through here that way. So I like to draw my barge board around here now. I just copied this for this tutorial quickly from the internet. Um, it's just a picture image and as you can see it is way too big. So let's resize this first. So we select this and we use the resize and just do it to find graphically. So if I click OK here, because I got measurements it's quite easy actually. So I go click there and I click roughly there. You can see at the moment it's over 3 meters and it only needs to be 140 mil. So you click again. And now it will resize and you just put in 140 and there you go all quite nice and small now in this case obviously i'm doing this on my design it maybe doesn't fit exactly so let's just see where we add so i want to go with this over my tiles which are there so let's move a bit back and the barge board yeah, it probably has to be a bit longer. So, but that's cool for now. Let's drag this back roughly there and we go there. All right, so what I do is now, you just draw along with a fill. Start over here. And in this case, you know, I just draw straight here because this looks like wood, but I want to uh, make it metal. So we just draw along here. Okay, hold down the shift key to straighten it up. We go up and we go over. All right, this is the first fill. Now the second one I do with a different fill. Let's make this 75. You will see in a moment the fill doesn't matter because I'm going to do this as a profile. And I start here and we go click. And we click, and you see in a moment why I click those little extra points because I want to. Now I go just straight here, that will do for this exercise because I want to go and add those little nice half round bits. Okay, there we go. All right, cool. Now, as you can see. I probably think mine has to be longer, but for now I leave it like this so I, I can show you how to fix that. So select those two bits, we copy that and we open our profiler, uh, just a new a custom profile. I call it a barge. I just put an A in because then it goes on the top of the list for my tutorial. Um, okay, and we paste this in. Um, current view there you go and for now let's just put this there all right cool so we got those um 
If you watch my tutorial, important is now we have to select them and give them down here a different surface. So let's just do this for this exercise. Maybe make this paint five and this one make this a bit lighter. We do this paint two. All right, now important is I need this as a beam and we save. All right, let's go back into our 3D. Now I like to draw this beam along here. Okay, so let's go into our beam settings. We um, choose the barge and you go horizontal exactly, let's we go this one here. And let's put it on a roof layer, roof, roof and gutter, that would be good. And we click OK. Maybe one thing here is let's just put this on paint five for now. We'll see what happens there. Paint five. Okay, now so we draw this all the way there. Okay, now what happens here? Let's just select this. It's not on the construction line, even so I've got this exactly here. But what happens, you can see there was a setting of a hundred. Let's just do this zero. There you go. Next bit, as you can see, the wall is in the way. So this has to be on a different number. Okay, how do you do this? I've got this on 3D export over here. So you go to your layer settings, 3D export, and you see the numbers here. They have to be different to the one that's on the wall. The wall, I've used wall external, see that's on one. Now I've got a couple here, number two and three, so you can't have the same one, so I can use four. Let's go down gutter. So we put a four in here and you make sure with the export, you update this one. So there's four and we say, okay, there you go. So now it doesn't interfere with the wall, which I know it's cut, but it's sort of going all the way up here. Great, as you can see, it seems to be a bit too big. So let's go to the section and this one here, I don't really need anymore. All right, so that's our section and we don't need this one. Oh, hang on, we do need those. All right, so what I do is, let's drag them down. So this fits here, roughly. It's the section, isn't it? Yeah, cool. Now, I like to really alter this one because it's too long. So what we do is we just move this down and let's drag this back up. To maybe there okay so take this one you copy and you go back in here and we paste this there you go it's not exactly is it let's move it a bit there and you delete this and you save so what happens now if you go to 3d that's adjusted already there you go ah see Good, I made a mistake because it's tutorial. You can see what happens. I didn't give this the correct um, material. Let's go back to paint tool. I do them different just so you can see that you can have different colors in here. There you go. See, great. So let's go back to the section and we could now take the barge board and drag this down a bit further. Okay, I think this is where the, oh, I can see this is where the, uh, the tiles, 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 tiles. So we can move it about there. Yeah, this will fit much better. So back to my 3D. There you go, that doesn't fit too bad actually. And now obviously, you know, you have to close this off if you want to with an extra board. I'll show you in a moment. You know this paint black? It's really black. Let's go and do this. This less black so I can actually see what's happening. Oh yeah, much better. So, because I can clean, uh, clean this up. So, as you can see, obviously we can go down and see where it is. Oh, I can't see this one. Let's go up. Oh uh, yeah, of course, it's the next story. Because now we just take this and we mirror a copy over. There you go, mirror a copy. Okay, so we got two now. 
perfect looks pretty good to me and like i said if you want to clean this up here in this case um i usually use a morph tool and you just use this one here so let's just go up there and you can say oh Ah, uh, different animation filter. Okay, that's not very good. Hang on a second. If you ever come across this, has to do with innovation filters and new elements hide. Now let's show. And I think this should fix it. Let's have a look more. So if I start drawing here, yeah, there you go. So we just draw. Go in a bit. You look again this is just a tutorial so i just draw this a little bit here there we go Cut it down this over there yeah, and all the way down oops don't go that fast all right so this is now obviously a piece of morph tool and you can just you know extend this a bit as you can see i haven't been very careful oh that was archicad i did do okay how funny is that and obviously we do add yes here so i want to go and do the same paint 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 and paint five as example there you go like i say look it's just sort of quickly but you know it's close to off so yes that's that's the way you do a, a barge board and if you want to know how to do um the three details just watch the next video coming up and i will show you how to do that i hope you enjoyed this little quick tip and i see you back soon bye for now